بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو پاکستان اسکول مسکتی لرننگ انڈیا لرننگ فرام ار کمیونٹی سائنس ویک 4 اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر مس درتسا ویلکم ٹو دا سائنس کلاس اسٹوڈنٹس ار یو ریڈی ٹو لرن سم تھنگ نیو دس از دا کنٹینیشن اف یونٹ نمبر 5 میٹر ان ایچ سیز پلیز پلاٹ از کال ٹو دا بیز فارمنگ فرام یونٹ نمبر 12 دی ویو بک ویڈیو 47 اینڈ 48 ایکسپلینیشن اف دا ایکسپریمنٹ اف بک ویڈیو نمبر 47 then review activity number 2 on book page number 48 we'll do some notebook work question number 7 after that we get and then quiz so let's get started don't forget the rules it will help you to be focused so we're going to start the question is from unit number 12 light how fast does light travel The speed of light is 300,000 kilometers in one second, much more than speed of sound. You already read about anything that has weight and takes up space is called matter. Uh, there are three states of matter, solids, liquid, and gas. Solids are arranged regularly. They have fixed shape, fixed volume. Liquid can flow. They don't have fixed shape, but fixed volume. Gas as a... Uh, very far apart their molecules are very far apart they can move freely in every direction in any direction and uh, they don't have fixed shape and fixed volume so they are moving on to the next as now we know that matter can change its state as we can see simple experiment by using the ice cube after some time ice start melting so what happens exactly that substance is in solid liquid or gas at certain temperature if they are heated or cooled they can change form how a change of form, uh, state occurs heating makes the particles in the substance move faster and knock each other farther apart as they begin to move around freely a change of state occurs as you can see in this that it is cold the molecules are moving and moving but if you are just increasing the heat gradually so you found that molecules moving more faster in uh, in the colder object start moving very fast so did that changing of state having uh, the points that is when the solid changes into liquid it's a melting point when liquid changes into solids a freezing point when liquid start bubbling so that is the boiling state and when they start evaporating escaping the uh, uh, the molecules from the upper layer of the liquid so that is evaporation even with without boiling this can happen even without boiling if you are just putting some amount of water outside the the home or terrace you found that after some time water dry or the pan which you are just putting out that will be dry it's just due to evaporation and what is condensation when gas vapor changes into liquid in liquid to liquid again you can simple give you do a simple example like you are just putting the ice cubes on the glass and after some time you find the droplets outside the glass so that is due to condensation then this is about the mixtures so what is mixtures is true some mixture contains more than one substance it is not a pure substance kinds of mixtures are solution suspension emulsion and an alloy solution when the sol solute completely dissolves into solvent suspension when the solute does not dissolve in solvent and emulsion is a mixture of two liquids we cannot dissolve each other we cannot be mixed properly in each other alloy is a mixture of two solids so like metals especially the metals two metals mixed together to make another metal so that is a kind of a mixture now we are moving on to the today's reading session students how can we separate now we just read the lesson and then find out how can we Um, uh, separates uh, some mixtures like separating mixtures. There are many ways of separating mixtures by filtering. Filtering is a way to separate a solid from a liquid. Sand can be separated from water by filtering the mixture through a filter paper. The water will pass through, but the sand will be left on the filter paper. As you can see that. 
by evaporating. Salt can be separated from water by heating the solution. The water will evaporate from the solution and the salt will be left behind. As you can see that if you are just putting the salt solution over the burn burner, after some time all the water will be evaporated and only some crystals of uh, solid salt, that salt will be left behind. That is a way of separating salt solution with water. So, students, first of all, we will do okay by decantation. By decantation means an insoluble solid can be separated from a liquid by pouring off the clear liquid from the top of the mixture. This process is called decantation. The insoluble substance will remain at the bottom of the vessel. There is a process. We can use the strainer to just pour all the decanted mixture of sand and water. But there is nothing now, as you can see. What we will do? We can take the mixture of sand and water after some time we found that all the sands will be settling down this is the process when the particles settling down on the bottom of the water is called sedimentation when we are just putting out that top layer of water that is decantation decantation is a process of separation of liquid from solid and the other immiscible non-mixing liquids by removing the liquid layer at the top from the layer. Now, it's a review type of activity number two. What is an unsaturated solution? We already read about it. A solution that can still dissolve the solute. What is saturated solution? The sat a saturated solution is a solution that contains as much as solute as well dissolved at that. And uh, what is a uh, saturated solution? Is a solution that contains more solutes than in saturated solution. You can see in this picture, unsaturated, saturated, and sat super saturated solution is in with sugar and water. We are just mixing some amount of sugar in water, and when we are stirring well. We found that all the sugar dissolves in water completely. So that is the unsaturated solution. When solute completely dissolves in solvent. If we are adding more solutes, means more sugar into our water. After some time, we found we stirring, and after some time, we found that there is some amount of crystal is still inside the water. So we are just increasing the amount of sugar, but we are finding that the sugar is not dissolving. So that kind of a solution is saturated solution. We are just increasing the amount of uh, solute, but we found that now it's stopped dissolving. The resulting solution is a saturated solution with additional solute that does not dissolve. If we heat up, then what happens? Since we are making the water hot, as you can uh, see in experiment activity number one, that water uh, in the that uh, hot water have a faster molecules. They are moving faster. So what happens when the high temperature? We can see that the all the crystals of the salt solute completely dissolve in the solvent. So that is a supersaturated solution. Now we are moving on to the today's work student. Today is September 7, unit number 5, matter and states. Question number 7, write the statement as true or false. The process by which ice changes to water is called melting. The process by which water changes into uh, ice is called melting. 
Fizzy drink is a mixture of oxygen, sugar, and water. The change of water vapors or gas into liquid is called condensation. There are three states of matter, solids, liquid, and gases. Here are the answers for all the true and false. Read the lesson carefully, do it by your own, and learn it. It's a trivia time, students. What is an alloy? A mixture of metals is called an alloy. For example, brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. So, students, time to say hello to everyone. Don't forget to wash your hands after using the ghost gadgets and don't forget your mask when you are going outside. Thank you, everyone.